Alright, so this is a UDI U818A. Um, so I'm going to show you a few mods I did to it. They were pretty cheap and made the, uh, the experience with this thing pretty awesome. So first of all, I took this to the park the first day and I noticed that the wind was pushing it too much. And came to a conclusion that it was a frame. So what I did is I bought me a spare is right here well this is actually the original and this is a spare what I did is I cut it I cut the four corners because this is seemed pretty heavy for it so there it is so this is what we have now all right so first I tried it it made a big difference so it was great but it still kind of was not so good so what I did next I don't know if you could see here it's quite thick from here to here it's about an inch and a half, and that stops the air when the, it push again, it pushes against the frame or the drone when you're flying it or flying against wind or just normal. So this would stop the speed. So what I did is I actually see from here is like one inch and maybe a quarter. I cut from here to like maybe around here, all around. So I made it thinner but still cover the uh, PCB board that holds all the wires and stuff. <coughs> so let me show you what it looks like now. So you can tell here, it's pretty thin. You know, it feels pretty comfortable. It's, it's pretty cool. You know, it feels, it gives it a different feel. So that's the first thing I did. And man, it made a big difference compared to when it had the frame on huge difference. It still protects the PCB board. It's a lot lighter. And when you're going on when you put it, when you take it to the park or just fly it anywhere, the wind will not push it back as much. And it this thing flies so fast now. So I I, I suggest that you do this after you have a good understanding or, or practice flying the drone cuz by doing this, you're not protecting these right here. And that was my mistake I did first. I uh, I did this in the, the first two days I had it. And I actually ended up breaking these arms, two two or three of these already, so I had to go online and buy the whole little arm thing. Uh, long story short, it works fine now, but just a little heads up if you're if you're a newbie on this drone or just drones overall. Also, I suggest you only fly this at the park where there's grass and some something soft, somewhere soft to land on. Because these things are very fragile, they could break easily. But if you're good at, you know, flying this thing like me, <laughs> then you could just fly it anywhere and just be careful. Also, the second thing I did was I bought me a 6,500 milliamp uh, milli hour or MAH thing battery. So let me take it out and show you. This is a battery. You know, you might have a battery if you buy a 6,500 or up. Higher, you're gonna have these. Uh, let me see if I could focus on here. The entrance won't be exactly like this, it would have like a side here and a side over there. So, what I did, I just got a, a knife and scraped it, but it fits in here without a problem. Perfectly fine. So, like I was saying, the battery is the second thing I did. Now, what I'm doing, it's I put it if you have a camera. You could fit the regular one goes like this. Well, if you have a fatter one or a thicker one, I put it across like this. As long as you put it in there evenly, on the other side like that, you should be fine. Uh, so also the battery's gonna be slightly thinner, so it won't go in. It'll just go in and come out. What I did was actually um, put some kind of paper or something else just to make it slight, slightly thicker, and then be able to fit on there tight, snug on there. Okay, so that's the second thing. The third thing is, uh, I went and bought, well, eBay. I got this for like two dollars, the original ones for two bucks. And man, it makes a difference. You need new propellers. If you've dropped your drone several times and they're all scratched up and bent, you definitely need new propellers right here. Um, so it makes a big difference. Also, what I did, I just painted this black because I didn't like the UDI logo. So I changed that. And now, let me show you what I mean so you can see performance on this thing. Alright. Let me put 
Put the battery in. Okay. Let me show you guys a little trick. I don't think anybody, well, I don't think many people know this. To cat, well, you know how to sync it. You go up and down and to make that sound, but to actually calibrate this, this is what you gotta do. You go down and to the right, and this will start flashing. I don't know if you saw that. And that calibrates all the motors to be synced. Alright, so let me show you what I mean. See, I, I didn't even go all the way up. Uh, let me let me see if I could hold this while recording. See, that thing's pretty fast. Let me see if I could leave this recording here and record and use it, John, at the same time. Yeah, give me a hard time. Pretty calibrated. Also, a good thing about this, it, it will recover from 360s. You know when you do when you do a 360 sideways or backwards or frontwards or whatever, this will quickly go back to you know steady and will it won't take forever to recover. So that's what I did with my UDI drone. Um, I mean, it made performance wise, man, it's crazy. It's pretty awesome. It's pretty cool. So, again, what I did was I cut the whole frame. I made this thing thinner. Um, I uh, put new propellers on here. And I bought a, a bigger battery. Actually, I bought like five of these on Amazon. I mean, eBay was like $12 for five so it's not bad at all and and then you know i go to the park with all i have eight batteries total and i'll be there for maybe around an hour hour ten using this thing it you know usually i turn off if it's during the daytime uh, i turn off the uh the light on it because you don't really need it but um it, you know it saves battery a lot well you'll see like a minute change when you turn it off it'll give you an extra minute so yeah, if you guys have any questions, let me know. This works for the UDI-817 as well. It's the same one actually, but the only difference is that it doesn't come with it. It doesn't come with a camera. Yeah, you guys get that? It doesn't cam with the camera. All right. Anyways, yeah. All right, guys. If you have any questions, let me know. Oh yeah, this minute, these two lights aren't working because I'm still working on the on the uh, propeller. So I'm actually putting new wings on there. I mean new arms. Anyways, see ya.